They're back. Hospitals in multiple states now requiring people to wear masks. Officials say that it's an attempt to curb an increase of respiratory illnesses, including COVID, the flu, and RSV. The CDC is reporting tens of thousands of people have been admitted to hospitals once again for respiratory illnesses each week this season. Our favorite doctor, Alok Patel, joining us now. Oh boy. All right, so are you seeing more masks around your hospital? What, what's going on for you personally? And do you think it's a good idea right now? Well, Kira Formos, Happy New Year to you. I'm honored by having the title of your favorite doctor. I don't take that light. So I and my colleagues who work in hospitals throughout the country are absolutely seeing an increase in respiratory illness, including hospitalizations from COVID. In fact, over the past week, we've seen increases, especially on the East Coast, and some states reporting a 30% increase, some a 60% increase. We're definitely seeing more masks. And I want to remind everyone out there that in a healthcare setting, when you already have an overstaffed hospital, staff shortages, you have patients who are already high risk, and you have several patients who might be in an emergency department or a waiting room who have symptoms, who haven't yet tested positive for anything, You've got a setup where you want to protect yourself. So we're seeing plenty of masks, and we wear masks anyway around any patients who may have respiratory illness because we don't want to spread it. anything to any other patients. We want to keep ourselves safe as well. Do we know why we're seeing an increase now again? You know, it's likely due to what happens in a typical cold and flu season care with respect to the colder temperatures, natural viral patterns, and the fact that a lot of people are indoors, especially during holidays, and we see those spikes afterwards. And so it's not that surprising that we're seeing more than 30 states report a high or very high level of respiratory illnesses. But it is important to remind people that we're in a better place with COVID than we were last year. It's still yet to see what's going to happen with influenza and what the trends look like for this flu season. All right. Great to see you, Doc. Wish you were here in D.C. You're My too voice. far away. <laughs> Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.